Well, hello there, and good evening, everybody. I'm uh, William Brantley, your YouTube forecaster <laughs> uh, for the South Jackson, Bemis, Tennessee area. Ready to get started on it. Uh, climate summary first, of course. As of uh, 5 p.m. here in Bemis, Tennessee, <clears throat> the skies were partly cloudy. The temperature was 91 degrees at that time. The uh, dew point was 67 degrees. <clears throat> Excuse me, I get choked up every time. <laughs> Humidity was at uh, 45%. Wind was out of the north at 6 miles per hour. And the bedmetric pressure was uh, 29.97 inches of uh, mercury. Low temperature this morning was another gorgeous, cool, 66 degrees normal 69 degrees or is 69 degrees uh high today uh oh got over 90 but still didn't feel too terrible uh 93 degrees was the high today here in bemis normal high is 91 that's still close to normal only a couple of degrees warmer uh no rain of course has fell since midnight that might change a little bit in two or three days. Uh, lowest humidity was 41% today at 3 p.m. Highest was 100% at uh, 12 through 7 a.m. Lowest dew point temperature was 63 degrees at 3 and 4 p.m. Uh, highest temperature dew point was 72 since midnight and that occurred at 10 a.m. By the way, these uh, uh, extremes that I give you are based from midnight to midnight. From midnight last night, no, to midnight night before last, to midnight last night. Uh, I think. Yeah. That would be uh, Trevor M. Uh, Wednesday, today's Wednesday, Tuesday early morning, Monday night, early, early Monday morning, till midnight last night. I believe, well, no, this would be Wednesday's summary. But on Facebook, it's partial. Midnight till the time I tell you. Whew, I'm getting good with confusing myself, and that's so easy to say, or it should be. The highest, uh, 72 degrees at 10 a.m. this morning, since midnight. That's a better way to put it. Why didn't I say that to begin with? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, lowest bedmetric pressure since midnight. Hey, there I go. Was 29.97 and occurred at 5 p.m. While the highest would be 30.05 since midnight. Uh, that occurred at 9 a.m. through 12 noon today. Today's highest wind gusts since midnight. Uh, was 16 miles per hour out of the northwest at 2.50 p.m. Today's records for July 23rd, hottest high 101 uh, in 1952, uh, coolest high 82 degrees in 1949, way back then. Uh, warmest low, of course that was at the airport back that far back. Uh, warmest low would be 79 in 1983, and the coldest low would be 56 degrees in the year 2000. And today's rainfall record would be 2.39 inches, and that occurred in 1975. And just in case you might have forgotten, my personal records date back to 1994, and the airport's records that I use uh, goes from... Uh, 1993 back to 1948 uh, and the airport started uh, their records uh, in August of uh, 1948 I started mine in January of 1994 <laughs> alright until now of course well now you know sort of the dates on the history uh, when the records have been kept from my location to uh, the airports Alright, I think that's it for tonight for the climate data. Let me take my glasses off and show you a couple of uh, graphs and that'll be it. 
Uh, let me go ahead and start off tonight with uh, radar. Might as well. There's really nothing to show, show you. It's almost uh, better just to uh, skip it. But uh, just for just for showing purposes, I'll show it to you. There's nothing on it. It's clear skies. It's going to continue to be that way. I think for a couple of more days. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out to the southern sector, as they like calling it. And it's also clear throughout the, the southeast. Even Tennessee is clear statewide at, the, uh, at this hour. And a good part of the southeast. There might be a little thunderstorm a few miles to the east of Atlanta, Georgia down there. And looks like Florida's uh, panhandle is fairly clear down there in case anybody might be down there for vacation. I'm hearing the school starts back here in Jackson, Madison County uh, the end of next week, next Friday I think if I'm not badly mistaken. So a lot of the kids are probably back home now getting ready to go back to school. Those who didn't graduate last year that is. They may be getting ready, the ones that graduated, to go to, go to college somewhere wherever that may be. Alright. Uh, satellite picture. It looks good tonight. Uh, clear across the state of Tennessee and down south of us and the tri-state area or the mid-south or whatever you all call it. A few high clouds that look like it's trying to make its way down through southern west Tennessee but that may actually give us a few clouds during the early evening hours, but they should clear up after midnight. Alright. Uh, current surface mount. Thanks to uh, the Weather Channel. It looks like uh, they got a cold front well south of us now. There's four lows in a way along the eastern border up in Canada, North Carolina there, uh, uh, Florida Panhandle kind of, and the Alabama-Mississippi border along the Gulf Coast and on down in southern Texas. That's a long stretch right there, my friends. And there's another front that's to our north, as you can see. That may make a one at us toward the weekend or possibly move through and continue the slightly cool temperatures leading into August. August looks like it's going to start off a little on the cool side opposed to the normal hot side that we're used to. Now you see the highs and lows and fronts out west and of course back over here in our area. Alright, uh, not a whole lot of rain going on nationwide. Just a few spotty areas. So, uh, nation's nice and dry. Uh, at least a good part of it is anyways. Alright, moving on to the forecast now. Uh, looks like, uh, let me see and get this down where I can read it better. And you can see it too. Let me move this box over. So I don't have to do a whole lot of maneuvering. <laughs> Uh, tonight you pretty much know what that forecast is already. Mostly clear skies for the most part rest of the night. Might have a few high thin clouds floating by the next few hours but they should be gone uh, especially after midnight if not sooner. Leading to a mostly clear day tomorrow as well. Uh, the sun set tonight at 8.05 p.m. Be rising tomorrow morning at 5:59 a.m. and the moon uh, ro rose at 6:39 p.m. Was set tomorrow morning at 4:04 a.m. Under mostly clear skies, like I mentioned. Low tomorrow morning around 65 degrees. Hey, that's one more degree cooler than this morning, 66 degrees. Tomorrow's high may be as warm as it was yesterday. Uh, today weather. A high tomorrow about 93. That's what we had today in Bemis. 
Uh, winds will be out of the west at uh, 10 to 20 miles per hour. And the strongest today was northwest at 16, like I mentioned, around 3 p.m. Uh, Friday, it looks like it's going to be generally fair. May have a few clouds floating by from time to time. And there's even a 40% uh, chance of an isolated early morning shower uh, Friday morning. So if you wake up sometime Friday morning and the grass is a little wet, concrete's a little wet, it won't last too long if, if it even occurs. 40% chance is not all that high. But generally speaking, for the 24-hour period of Friday, midnight to midnight, it's going to be generally fair. Um, lower 70, high of 87, with north winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour, and the full moon is complete Friday. It rises, well look at this, uh, sun rises at 6 a.m. Friday, July the 27th, sits at 8.03 p.m., and the moon rises at 8.07 p.m. So it, the moon rises uh, shortly, very shortly after the sun sets. I, I love it when it does that. Uh, it just looks so pretty, I think. And the moon will be setting at uh, 5.44 a.m. Uh, Saturday morning, the 28th. Speaking of Saturday, the weekend looks fair at this time. Uh, both days, low of 65, high of 87 Saturday. North winds at 10 to 20, <clears throat> lower 67, high of 88 Sunday, with southwest winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. The next best chance for rain is coming up Monday and Tuesday, July 30th and 31st. Very cloudy in those two days, with a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms on Monday, 40% on Tuesday of next week but fair skies by next Tuesday night. Uh, lower 69 Monday, high of 83. Lower 66 Tuesday, high of 83. Alrighty, that's pretty much the forecast for the next few days. And uh, I'll call it at that. Basically, nice weather continues until next Monday. With a slight possibility of an isolated scattered shower Friday morning. About the only difference that might make. And the chance isn't all that great then. Alrighty, I guess that's it for tonight. Thank you for listening and viewing and subscribing. And uh, hope you have a very pleasant uh, Wednesday night and a beautiful Thursday, July 26th. And uh, as usual, thank you for everything. Thank you for all the subscriptions. Uh, I love all your nice comments. I appreciate that. And I hope to talk to you soon. All right. Good night. God bless.